Today on Forbes, why is TikTok parent ByteDance moving into biology, chemistry, and drug discovery? ByteDance, the Chinese parent company of TikTok, appears to be ramping up work in fields well beyond the bounds of social media, biology, chemistry, natural sciences, and pharmaceuticals. The Beijing-based tech giant is recruiting American talent in computational biology, quantum chemistry, molecular dynamics, and physics for its, quote, AI for drug design and, quote, AI for science teams. This, according to LinkedIn posts reviewed by Forbes. ByteDance appears to be hiring for at least 17 of these positions across New York, California, and Washington State, taking a swing at local rivals like Meta, Google, and Amazon, where similar work is already underway. Others leading these efforts at ByteDance appear to be based in Chicago, Boston, and Beijing, according to LinkedIn. The AI for drug design team aims to, quote, revolutionize drug discovery, according to one job listing recruiting PhD students to Silicon Valley. It goes on to say, quote, we are dedicated to pushing the boundaries of AI-driven drug design, tackling complex challenges in protein structure prediction, molecular conformation analysis, and computational protein design. By combining our passion for scientific excellence with the transformative power of AI, we aim to accelerate drug discovery and make a meaningful impact on global healthcare. ByteDance's AI for Science group, meanwhile, according to listings for research scientists in computational biology and quantum chemistry in Seattle, quote, has been focusing on tackling challenges in natural sciences, including biology, physics, and materials. Staffers across the board will, quote, co-create a future with ByteDance, the listings say. What, exactly, that future is to be isn't clear. It is also unclear how drug discovery or development and other science-focused efforts fit into ByteDance's sprawling repertoire of social media sensations like TikTok and its Chinese counterpart, Douyin. ByteDance declined to comment on what its objectives are, how large the AI for drug design and science teams are today, and who it may have already hired. But a head of AI for drug design and science started at the company this past summer, per LinkedIn an expert who is also running UCLA's General Artificial Intelligence Lab. And the team has already released research on protein design and drug design, and an open source tool combining structural biology with AI. Forbes found no indication that these ByteDance initiatives are related to TikTok, and TikTok did not respond to a request for comment about whether they are in any way linked. But experts said data from TikTok and other platforms owned by ByteDance could be highly valuable for these science initiatives. And though TikTok has emphasized that it operates largely separately from its Chinese parent, Forbes reporting has repeatedly revealed the extent to which the businesses are entangled, and data from one company is often accessible by both. In the development of new drugs or medical treatments, experts in pharmaceutical companies typically work around what's called a, quote, target product profile, a rubric that helps them distill what their optimal drug would look like, the conditions or key problems they'd address with it, and who their ideal patients, candidates, or markets are. Experts said TikTok is where many people are drawn to health and wellness content, talk openly about medical issues, and regularly seek information on what has or hasn't worked for others. They said TikTok could serve as an invaluable feedback loop and marketing tool for drug developers. Spending data collected from TikTok's shop and in-app purchases could also be useful. Douglas Schmidt, Associate Provost for Research and Co-Director of the Data Science Institute at Vanderbilt University, noted that many young Americans are medicated for ADHD, anxiety, and other mental health conditions. He said, quote, based on the kinds of videos that young TikTok users watch or the content that they consume, it might provide insights as to conditions that they're facing. If you could find a way to sell products that would be appealing to them, you can certainly imagine building up a robust pharmaceuticals industry or a competitive product then advertising it on TikTok. For full coverage, check out Alexandra S. Levine's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.